And um, so again, these are preclinical models, of course, but obviously the number one cause of uh, mood and anxiety disorders is stress. Uh, and it's usually a long-term stress that, that sort of leads people down that clinical path. So if you're under a lot of stress, mm. your hippocampus stops making new neurons, um, which is called neurogenesis. But what we've been able to show up at, at the preliminary state is that the FABP inhibition can block that process from occurring and uh, allow the hippocampus to continue to produce new neurons, which is correlated with an antidepressant-like effect. So most parts of the brain, most of the time, aren't doing neurogenesis, aren't making new neurons in an adult mammal. But yeah. there's a couple special parts of the brain where that does continue to happen. The hippocampus is one of them. And so these things are having an effect on, so chronic stress tends to decrease neurogenesis, you know, basically anxiety, you're seeing that the decrease in neurogenesis that comes from stress is more mild when you mess with these fatty acid binding it, proteins. 